Hey guys, Hello Bella here. I want to go over my Merch by Amazon sales for the month of February 2020. I'm actually really happy with sales. They've been higher than the sales this time last year for me, so I'm pretty pumped about that. So you can see the um, shirt sold per day was not a ton. Looks like my best day was 10 shirts in one day with $48.50 being my royalties for that day. This has been a great side hustle for me because I didn't upload any new shirts in February. I have uploaded a few in March for St. Patrick's Day. Um, so overall, 142 sales. I've got 13 returns and looks like my average royalty per sale was $3.79, which is good because it was closer to the $3 mark. For the month, I got $539, which I am super pumped about. Like, that's really good, I feel like. Um, the that month of February, February had 29 days in it, so we didn't really have as many days for sales, but overall, I feel like this is pretty good. Average sales per day is five bucks a day. Average royalties a day was $18.59. So if I keep that average of $18.59 every single day for the year, I would make $6,785 a year off of merch by Amazon. That'd be super cool. I'd be happy with that, especially since it's something that I haven't had a lot of time to focus on lately. Um, I am using the Pretty Merch uh, Pro. Uh, I think I got that for like 49 bucks for the year uh, back in Black Friday. Um, it's a pretty good Chrome extension. It tells you a lot about your sales that you can't get otherwise. Um, unique product sold was 77, so 2.4%. I believe I have around three a, a little over 3,000 um, uploads right now, which some of them have never sold, and some of them are variations. So I might have one design, but it's uploaded on five different types of um, shirt. Looks like mostly what I sold was standard shirts. We have 95 standard shirts sold, sold 26 pop sockets, uh, 10 premium shirts, five sweatshirts, three tank tops, and then uh, just one of each of the v neck, raglan, and long sleeve shirt. Looks like a pretty good mix between men's and women's shirts, and we sold one kid shirt. So the top shirt that I sold was actually a political shirt this year. Uh, this was um, not, this actually, I've had this uploaded for a while, but for some reason in politics right now, you know, it's just like whatever's trending, um, this actually picked up a little bit. So I will probably make a lot more political shirts because we're getting to the point where we're going to be towards another election. And it's just a really good time to uh, get our money out of that trend before it's gone. So the other shirts were literally just shirts that sell, always sell for me, just some evergreen shirts, um, just shirts that I've had uploaded probably for two years. Um, had a pop socket that sold nine times, so that made me 20 bucks. Um, nothing amazing, but here's a sweatshirt. It sold four times, but it got returned twice, so it got returned 50% of the time. Um, so that's annoying, but I still made 14 bucks off of it, so I guess I shouldn't complain. Um, let's see what else. You have some premium shirts in here. I don't upload premium shirts anymore because they did they, they just get returned because they're so they run so small and people always leave bad reviews on them. Like literally always get a review that says like that it looks like a kid shirt or something. So well, welcome to America. We're all fat. So we're like, oh, it's too small. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of, you know, I, I have a decent bit of shirts sell for the very first time. Um, I do price them a little lower and then I'll raise the price. Like you can tell uh, I make $5.23 on quite a few of my shirts because um, the price is at $19.99. But there's several that are um, a lot less. I'll just scroll down and let you guys see the rest of them. Um, what do you guys think about the current state of Merch by Amazon? Do you think that they're about to upload or <laughs> do you think that they're about to upload? Do you think that they are about to um, release anything new for us to put uh, things on? Because I have like four, probably 4,000 designs on my computer that I really need to do something with. But I would love to see a um, tote bag. I would love to see hats. And I think it'd be really cool if we could do something like a print on like leggings and stuff like some of the other platforms. Um, these are shirts that sold for the first time. That is a St. Patrick's Day shirt. I can tell by the, um, the green there um, that sold for the first time in the month of February. So I have seen more of my St. Patrick's Day shirts selling now that it's March. But the, the sad thing is that 
these people are ordering these shirts and even though it says prime they may not get the shirt in time so some of those will probably get returned unfortunately uh, because the shirts are um, you know not always coming on time and if you're ordering it two or three days before the holiday that you're ordering it for it may not come on time um, but yeah that is the sales for February 2020 I sold one shirt in the UK so I didn't even bother putting that up there and I didn't sell any shirts in Germany it's my phone going off here um, but yeah the the overall $539 I'm okay with that that's totally fine for passive income that's paying a couple of bills for me this month so I am pumped about it so hopefully you guys had a good month as well um, I will be coming to you with some more content about my Amazon FBA sales for the month of uh, February as well because there's a lot that I want to talk to you about in the realm of that world but yeah merch is a little bit passive for me right now I may do some more designs uh, centered around the next upcoming holidays don't forget we've got Easter that's a big one and We've also got just, you know, political stuff trending right now. So don't, you know, don't think that you can't just throw a design up there, even if there's nobody else with it, because some of my best designs were the ones where I was first and I wasn't, there weren't any others that said the phrase that I put up there. And then after I put the phrase up there, more people uploaded the same exact phrase. So um, don't be afraid to be first because being first means you can be ranked ahead of other people. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Thanks so much for watching guys.